What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're back with some Destiny 2 updates. And in this one we have a preview of the Guardian Games event for 2023. And so the annual class-focused event will return on May 2nd, and as always, there'll be a bunch of rewards featured, as well as new objectives for the class competition. And so we'll cover the event card and new champion title for this year's event, as well as a new weapon and updates to the existing Guardian Games SMG. Plus we'll see new quests, a twist on supremacy, and of course cosmetic items, so we'll break them down in today's video. As always guys, if you do enjoy this one, be sure to drop a comment below to help us out, but otherwise let's get into it. And so starting out once again, Guardian Games is set to return to the game on May 2nd. And as always, there will be a class scoring element, so as a community, we'll be playing on our selected characters to see which Guardian class can score the most points throughout the duration of the event. And as always, one of the interesting elements for Guardian Games will be the new armor. So Destiny Bulletin shared an image of the armor right here, and this will be the new ornament set. So we've got the Hunter on the left, the Warlock on the right, and the Titan in the middle. Those are also, of course, the class colors for the game. And of course, the armor looks a little bit like SRL type stuff from back in Destiny 1. And I believe that will be purchased through Eververse. But another element for the event, of course, would be new weapons. And there will be a new featured legendary weapon this time around, which is a new Strand Scout Rifle. So this is called the Tarak Sipas, and it is a lightweight frame scout rifle with some pretty decent perk combinations. So for main traits in the first slot, it's able to get no distractions, outlaw, Zen Moment, fourth times the charm, moving target, and then offhand strike or gut shot straight. With the second slot able to roll keep away, kill clip, encore, focused fury, cascade point, hatchling, or explosive payload. So there are a couple of decent perk options there, and we tend to see with these events that the weapons drop pretty regularly, so getting good rolls and things like that is a little bit easier than in some other content in the game. As always though, there will be origin traits for the weapon, so the Guardian Games origin trait is Classy Contender, and final blows with the weapon grant class ability energy. But since this is an Omelon Scout Rifle, it's also able to get Omelon Fluid Dynamics. So let us know which roles you'll be going after on the Scout Rifle right there. But of course there is also the title, and this is the Guardian Games SMG. And this is an aggressive frame Void SMG, and Bungie have updated some of the perk options, so in the first trade slot it can now roll Perpetual Motion, Threat Detector, Dynamic Sway Reduction, Pugilist, Offhand Strike, Shot Swap, or Envious Assassin. And in the second slot, that can be paired with Swashbuckler, Focused Fury, Gutshot Straight, Surrounded, Vorpal Weapon, Rangefinder, or Repulsor Brace. On top of that, it still gets the Classic Contender Origin trait, as well as Hake Breach Armaments as an option since it is a Hake weapon. So let us know down below if there are any new roles that you'll be going for on the title SMG. But other new things included for the event this year would firstly be a new title, and this is called Champ. And as we've seen in other events in the past year, Bungie have updated them with the event card and the title, so it's the first time Guardian Games gets that treatment. And to earn the champ title, we need to unlock 16 of the available triumphs for it. So looking at some of them here, there's ones to defeat targets or assist teammates with strand damage and abilities. And each of these triumphs also includes things like event tickets, medallions or enhancement cores as potential rewards. Other triumphs include completing contender or platinum cards from EVA, we need 15 of those. There's one to defeat targets in Supremacy matches or the Guardian Games playlist. And Supremacy will feature as part of Guardian Games this year, we'll mention that in a moment. Then there's one to complete Guardian Games Ops Nightfalls, so there's going to be a variation on the Nightfall mode for the event. Others requiring us to defeat targets with Guardian Games weapons, or complete Supremacy and Guardian Games playlist activities with special matchmaking. Not sure what the special matchmaking refers to, but there are other triumphs in there with additional rewards, some which unlock Bungie Store reward access, but others like the Platinum Triumph, which will reward the Luminous Paragon, a new exotic sparrow. So a handful of new objectives for the event this time around. Plus for defeating targets with scout rifles, or separately getting medallions from activity completions, we'll get additional drops of things like the title and the new scout rifle. So let us know down below, are you going to be going after the new title seal for the event? Also this time around though, Guardian Games will get an event card, so we can see from the screen here it's been updated with event challenges, and some of the upgrade rewards for the event card include a new exotic emote, an instantly unlocked exotic sparrow, and an exotic ghost shell that could be earned. But as always, the event card upgrade is something that we have to purchase. And then like in previous events, 
there will be a series of different contender cards. And these are bounties we can pick up off either the reward medallions that we can turn in as points for the Guardian Games event. And there are different objectives, including things on different destinations, Neomuna specific ones, those which pertain to Season of Defiance content, and then more endgame focused ones like Trials, Nightfalls, Raids, and even harder difficulty Lost Sectors. So there'll be a bunch of different ways to earn medallions and score points for our class. Additionally though, there will be some quests which have new steps on a weekly basis for the event. So there's a quest called Shoot to Score, and this will also track community ranks. And we'll be able to achieve a bronze, silver, gold, and then ultimately a platinum score for the week's activity in Guardian Games. And these will be different steps of that quest. And as we achieve those different scores, all the way up to Platinum, we'll be able to light scoring torches in the tower, which unlock glows for our characters and additional rewards. And then as we mentioned, there will be an element tied to PvP, and specifically for Supremacy matches. And inside of Supremacy, we'll be able to go after Bronze, Silver, Gold, and Platinum scores once again. So there is essentially a PvE and a PvP option, or even both, depending on how you want to play the game. So that's a cool element. And by lighting the torches and completing the objectives each week, we'll be able to unlock associated rewards. So, for example, there'll be an exotic Platinum Rewards bundle that we can pick up on a weekly basis, as well as others for the different tiers. And Evil Avante will also have specific bounties for the event, some of which are weekly bounties that reward Bright Dust, as well as bundles of currencies and things like that. And the one positive about events like Guardian Games is you can kind of take as much of it as you like. So if you're only interested in hunting for weapons, you can treat the objectives just like bounties and do them as you do other activities in the game. Or of course, you can go pretty hard on earning the new title, the cosmetic items. And as always, there will be purchasable additional options most notably for cosmetic rewards that come from things like the event card. The only other mention right here for folks who haven't already earned it, but as far as I know, access to the air apparent exotic machine gun will still be available during this year's event. And it looks like the objectives for these have been updated slightly in the database. So much like before, it looks like there will be a quest to acquire the machine gun that simply requires us to earn a medallion by completing activities and then to defeat targets with machine guns. But also access to the catalyst should still be associated with the event as far as we can tell. And there's still the quest to earn points by obtaining medallions. The next step is to complete three contender cards and then to defeat combatants with machine guns to collect competitive spirit, which will ultimately unlock that upgrade for the weapon. So it's something that can still be gone after if you haven't picked it up in previous years. And so there we go, guys. That's a bit of a preview of the Guardian Games event for this year. Let us know down below if you plan on jumping in and which rewards you'll be going after. But for today, I hope the video has been useful and interesting. And if it has, a rating below really does help us out on the channel. Plus, be sure to get subscribed and I'll keep you posted with all the Destiny 2 news right here. But otherwise, as always, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have an awesome day.